Are we approaching a tipping point uh, for the Greenland ice sheet by continuing our releases of greenhouse gases? How far off is that, um, is that point, Dr. Ben Shadler? What troubles me is that um, we may well be already past that point, I, but we don't know, to be honest. Um, the reason I think we may be past that is that the full amount of warming, even from the current um, composition of the atmosphere, uh, has not been realized yet. Even if we did not produce another molecule of greenhouse gases, uh, the, the best projections are that temperature would rise more than uh, one degree Fahrenheit. Um, and what's that going to do to the ice sheets? That's another part that we don't know. One of the processes that, that my own particular research is following up is the connection between an increase in atmospheric circulation as it affects the increase in ocean circulation, and that delivers more warm water to the undersides of the ice shelves, causing events probably like, like we see with Peterman Glacier. Um, so, and that's already in the system and that has not, not fully expressed and manifested itself. So what troubles me, what keeps me up at night and gets me into the office early in the morning is the concern that we may well be already past that tipping point and there is, there is nothing we can do right now to avoid at least a one-meter rise in sea level by the end of this century. Uh, yes, I think Dr. Ben Shadler has, has hit it pretty well. Uh, certainly what our, our estimates from that that government report were somewhere between two and seven Celsius of warming would be sufficient to remove Greenland's ice sheet sometime in the future. And we may be pretty close to the lower end of that with a little more warming coming. So I, I said sometime within the next decades we may cross that tipping point that puts us warmer than the temperature at which Greenland can survive. Greenland by itself, if it melts, Puts, raises the global sea level on average about 23 feet. Uh, the deepest water in New Orleans after the hurricane was slightly was about 20 feet. That you're saying if we lost the entire Greenland ice sheet, it would raise the sea level in New Orleans by how many feet? It's about 23 feet averaged around the globe, 23 from the Greenland ice sheet. Um. So do you see the Greenland iceberg uh, 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 as the canary in the coal mine? In other words, does the Arctic give us an early warning sign about the planet as a whole? I believe the Arctic does give us early warning signs as a planet as a whole, and I actually was sort of convinced before this iceberg that there were enough other changes that we had observed so clearly in Greenland that we were headed in a, in a direction which is dangerous for future sea level rise. So what, what do, uh, Dr. Binchella, what do the polar regions have to teach us about global warming that other regions don't? I think the way I would answer that is that I, it, it gives everyone a view into um, changes that societies will, will need to uh, adapt to. Um, residents in the polar regions, especially in the Arctic, are living through global warming right now on a, on a daily basis with the thawing of perm permafrost and, and the changing changes in their culture. What